When it comes to open problem research, no one knows the answer, and so we're all equals. It sort of breaks the traditional model of hierarchy of like, oh, the professor knows everything, and then the students are just trying to learn what the professor knows. That's like the, I guess, traditional model of education. Um, and it's never been truthful. <laughs> I always learn from my students. But they need to know the other person's bet that they got. We don't just study games, but I think a lot of students take this class because it's fun, because we get to think about games all day. Tetris is something called NP complete. Uh, chess is something called X time complete. So these are all results saying that these games are hard to play perfectly. And that kind of explains why they are challenging and at a philosophical level why we consider those games fun, I think, is because humans like a challenge. And so this is a computer science way of formalizing what it means for a game to be challenging. At the scale of 50 or 60 students, you can't get a global sense of what everyone is doing once you're in your little group. So to fix that, we heavily use a piece of software that I wrote called Co-Author. Whatever ideas you come up with, you post them on this system. The discussion is organized into threads, and so if you want to know what people have been doing in context for a problem, you just click on it and you can see all the discussion. Having this medium where we can record ideas and thoughts that people can follow up on later makes it feasible to have really useful contributions from everyone, even though we have 60 people. It allows a whole bunch of asynchronous communication between the students, which is really cool. Between classes, we will see people will have ideas, work on them, put their ideas up, and sometimes get feedback. Uh, there was a post about parameterized complexity for Sokobond, so if you're interested in, in Sokobond, check that out. There are some students who post dozens of messages every week because they're really excited and working on lots of different things. This digital system becomes the archive of what we did each week, so it's right there in the name that you're supposed to use the software to co-author papers together. <laughs> We've posed 130 open problems, which is a huge number, um, but we made substantial progress in 75 of them. Um, this is a pretty huge set of research. There will definitely be dozens of papers to come out of this. Where this distance is like x minus two, and this distance is x plus two. A dozen different research groups in the world use co-author for their own research collaborations, and at MIT it's slowly spreading, and my goal is to get it more and more popular. So you're forced to decrease like a amount that you can control.